Hi everybody, it's Lola from Lola's Life Lessons. I've been doing these food shortages, empty shelves videos since January 2022. And I've been trying to warn you guys to stock up on certain things. Today is June 4th, 2022. This week I shopped at Walmart. I noticed some different things this week. Usually there is no shortage in the fruits and vegetable section. This week I did see some thinning areas. And shockingly enough, the middle aisles seem to be improving, except for certain sections. So check out the video and then I'll come back with my commentary. As you guys saw, stock was low in certain areas. In the produce section, cereal aisle is looking amazing. Certain brands of cereals are still out of stock though. I've been noticing this for months now that the pasta aisle, certain brands have not been available for months. So if you like a particular brand, it's wise to pick up a few extra jars when they do come back on the shelves. As you can see here, there's lots of pasta sauce, but the brand might not be what you like or what your kids like. 
And we are still experiencing a baby food and baby formula shortage. Our news outlets have said this is temporary, but this has been going on for a while now. I don't have a baby, but my heart goes out to all the families that do have babies. This must be a very stressful situation because not every woman can breastfeed. The cold and flu stuff is always low. And as I told you guys months ago, to stock up on those items. Gas prices here in Ontario are skyrocketing. Also, the war is affecting our food prices and food availability. The question I get over and over again is, what do I buy? I say stock up on everything, things that your family enjoy. If your kids only eat a certain type of cereal, I would stock up on those. Buy canned foods weekly, buy pastas, buy the sauces, whatever your family likes. And folks, food prices are going to rise. And I've been telling you guys for months to buy things that you enjoy while the prices are low. I'm not saying to hoard, but we all have to brace ourselves for prices going up, just like our gas prices are going up. It doesn't help to keep our heads in the sand. Buy things when they are on special. If you're into gardening, start a little garden. You can even grow things indoors. I am just saying, just be prepared. Even if you can only afford to buy a few extra things weekly, that's good too. So here's my grocery haul for the week. It's just my regular groceries for this week, plus some, some extra things that I'm stocking up on. I had a budget of $100. I went over by $50. So in the way of prepping, I bought some meat that is going directly into my freezer. I love this cut. It's perfect for my keto diet. Since I've been prepping, I only buy meat when there is a sale. Notice the regular price of the steak was $31.78. But today, look at the price. It's still expensive, but I think prices are going to go even higher. I'm not a fan of canned food, but we don't know what the future holds. So I always try to buy a few cans of something every week. So are you guys prepping? Have you noticed thinning shelves, empty shelves? If you have a baby, how are you dealing with this formula and baby food shortage? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.